Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One and to day 12 of Vlogmas. Today we are doing my 12 pans of Christmas project pan update number two. If you're a fan of project pan content, I did have my 2021 general project pan running all year, which I will link up in the eye if you've not seen it. Um, there's obviously the intro and the update one from this project pan. And I think tomorrow's video is actually going to be me introducing my what will be my main project pan for 2022 so if you like project pan content please do hit the subscribe button there's going to be there has been lots of it this year and there's going to be more of it next year all of that aside let's get into update number two of this project In my last update I said my L'Occitane hand cream was pretty near its end uh, which happened, it finished I think a few days after I filmed that update. So that has now left the project and officially left my collection and I introduced this in the last update because I knew how near to the end that hand cream was. This at its introduction which was update number one weighed 36 grams. On the 25th of November I did the cutaways for this by the way on 25th of November but I've not had time to actually film me talking to the camera until now so uh, the, the cutaways and the the close-ups are the right kind of moment for the update but on the 25th of November which was update number two measurement day this weighed 15 grams I have absolutely no qualms I think I'm going to finish this within the project which will be two hand creams thanks to the 12 pans of Christmas so I'm very pleased with that I actually have two other things leaving the project in this update which is very exciting and the first one is my Jo Malone perfume so that is now completely done. I'm actually a bit annoyed that I finished it in time for update number two because I had planned to use it in proper December because it's the tobacco and mandarin, you know, it's a very sort of festively appropriate perfume but at the same time I'm just, I'm glad that I have finished it. I can count it towards my reverse rouge. It's another perfume leaving my collection because I have far too many perfumes so yeah, it's, it's good when you finish things but it is a bit bittersweet in this one because I really, really enjoyed this but... Yeah, thanks to this project, it is out of my collection. And the other item that is leaving the project today is my ColourPop lip oil. So, as you can see, completely finished. I didn't think I would finish this for update number two. I did think I would finish it within the project, but I definitely thought we would have still had some at this update. But, yep, completely done took the stopper out, whole shebang, got every last bit of product. Um, I had to use a lip brush to get the last bit out even with taking the stopper out but we got there, we finished it and I will have this towards my reverse rouge and it'll be a lip balm or oil product out of my collection which is what we want. So that is the hand cream from the last update, the perfume and this one. That is three empties from this project alone so far. So glad that I decided to do this project. The next product to update you on is my Omravitsa Queen of Hungary Mist. So you'll see, I'll obviously do the cutaways where you'll be able to see the markings better. But again, I used about the same again. So I'm quite happy. As I said in update number one, like the actual bottom of this glass bottle is quite thick. So the product doesn't go all the way to what looks like the bottom of the bottle. So I'm quite hopeful that I'll still finish this by the 25th of December when we do the finale. If not, it'll definitely be finished very, very early into 2022, but fingers crossed, I do think we'll be able to manage this one within the project as well. The next product to talk about is my Pixi Vitamin C Caviar Balm, which is basically a brightening leave-on mask. You can't really see this to market, so I did weigh this. At the intro, this weighed 48 grams. At my first update, it weighed 40 grams. And on the 25th of November for update number two, it weighed 32 grams. So obviously that grammage is including the packaging and it's a food scale, not a like um, fluid ounces scale. So it's, it's, it's just an idea 
it's just a way of measuring it. I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to finish this within the project now. We shall see. I will keep using it and I've enjoyed using it so I'm not desperate to have it out of my collection. But if I don't finish it within the project, again, it'll be finished very, very early in 2022 and I have enjoyed using it so I'm so glad that I put it in the project. It would be nice to finish it by the 25th of December though. So, so fingers crossed, next update, which I'm saying next update but in the finale, which is the next update, it's so, I feel like time has just gone so, so quickly. I can't believe this is update number two and the next update will be the finale of this three month project. I feel like I started it like last week. Um, but yeah, hopefully by the finale we will have finished this. A product I will definitely finish by the finale is my Kiehl's Eye Alert. So at the intro this weighed 12 grams, update number one it weighed 11 grams. And I actually haven't bothered with weighing this. Um, but you'll be able to see in the cutaways, I have cut it open. It's not quite finished, there is still a bit of product inside but yeah. I'm definitely, definitely going to be coming back to you in the finale to say this is completely emptied out. So I'm very, very pleased with my progress on that. I have another Kiehl's product in this project and it is this, their smoothing oil infused leave-in concentrate. So it is hair oil. Again, you'll be able to see far better in the cutaways, but yeah, I used like a reasonable amount of it. I think I used slightly less this time than I did for last time so we'll see if I manage to finish it by the finale or not. I'm not 100% convinced but if I don't finish it by the finale again it'll be early 2022. I have got three hair oils, no I think I've got four actually. However many hair oils I've got it's too many, can't quite remember because I've got very fine hair so I only use this very sparingly through the ends when it's wet before I blow dry it and I only wash my hair once a week so I don't go through these products very quickly for somebody who has far too many of them. So I have been using this as a bit of a sort of leave-in treatment the night before I wash my hair. I've been sort of soaking my hair in it and that is helping me move through it a little bit quicker. A couple of treatments like that and I might finish it for the finale but if not it will be early 2022 so I'm very glad either way that I put it in the project. I have got quite an exciting update for you next and it is in my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow in my main project pan is going absolutely nowhere. I have it on today. I wear it like almost every second day. Um, I did lose like a week in November. I had a reaction to something and my eye was like swollen up and I didn't want to wear any makeup on it so I did lose that time. Um, but yeah, other than that, been consistently using that eyeshadow and I'm seeing nothing. But I got a pan in this one by update two, so there we go. It, it does happen sometimes, super, super pleased with that. My goal was really just to hit pan, so yeah, I've achieved my goal. I'm going to obviously keep it in the project and we'll see what other like changes I make to it by the finale. Um, you know, any more usage on it is great, but I'm so excited to actually hit pan. I don't have very many eyeshadows in my collection with pan in them, so whenever one joins, I'm like, it's like a little victory for me. The primer that I put in this project, so I've said this is so old I don't really like to put it on my face anymore so I just tend to use this on my body. At the intro this was 28 grams, on the 24th of October it was still 28 grams but on the 25th of November I moved it a little bit, I got it down to 23 grams so there's still some product left. My plan is to take this to Ireland with me which hopefully all going well I will be in Ireland when you are watching this is the plan. There are, there are things afoot guys and, and I'm very stressed but we're not going to talk about that. Um, so yeah the plan is take this to Ireland with me and yeah I think like if I'm going out for dinner a couple of nights use this on like my legs and my chest area and I do think it will still be done by the finale so I do think that will be another one that I can say is empty thanks to my 12 pans of Christmas project. The last product that I am weighing is this from Benefit. It is their Puff Off Under Eye Eye Brightener. At the intro this weighed 13 grams. Um, at update number one it was down to 12 grams and on the 25th of November it was still 12 grams. I did use it but I didn't make any change to it in terms of weight. I do still think I'll finish this within the project. Again, plan is to take it away with me next week and hopefully, you know, using it every day whilst I'm away. 
uh, and then see what's left and I feel like it can't be that it's not the most see-through packaging but trying to gauge it I feel like after a week of using it every day I'll probably be at the cutting open stage fairly confident we can get this used up by the finale fairly confident Again, I don't want to open this product today. This is the Benefit Boying Airbrush Concealer, but I will put the cutaways in and it will show you where it was on the 25th of November. I've definitely widened the pan. I feel like fairly confident that I could get this finished by the finale. Definitely going to be one that I have to use like every single day to make that happen but I'm feeling okay about it. I think it'll happen. And the 12th and last official product is my Davines body oil so you can see on the markings there I definitely used more of that in between update one and two than I did between the intro and update one. Um, so I'm really really pleased and I do think I will finish that within the, the project without any problems. And then my bonus product is the shower oil that matches this also from Davines. I only ever use this when I know I'm planning to use this and the problem is I sometimes have a shower and then this is sitting and I go oh I'm trying to use that up I'll just pick it up and use it. So I use this without using this but I wouldn't use this without knowing that I was going to use that after. I think maybe even if I finish this within this project, it will mean that next year I'm less precious about this because I don't have a corresponding product. It will still get finished, but hopefully early 2022 it should get finished. But yeah, I made, again, more progress on this than I would have done had I not been doing this project. This is my bonus kind of product anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This would be my 13th pan well actually it would end up being my 14th because I've got because I've done two hand creams where I'd only planned to do one so yeah I'm really really glad that I'm doing this project I'm really super glad to be doing project panning and you know see how that actually um you know helps me use things up and affects my my reverse rouge totals it helps increase them and it helps decrease the amount of clutter that I have so super glad although like this is definitely not going to be finished within the project this is absolutely that's that's going to happen i'm not i'm not taking any any notion to the contrary um, and it will mean that this is out of my collection sooner than it would have been had i not done the project so that's my update for the last two products and that is everything for this update so yeah as i said absolutely mad that the next update will actually be the finale racing towards christmas day in that finale and seeing if we hit those goals thank you very much for watching this one and i will see you tomorrow bye